boxes wouldn't be the... What are you doing? Let me see. Let me see it. Oh, Amy. You're still your father. Lady, maybe you ought to come down and look in the truck, huh? I'll, I'll be right there. Amy, I know Santa Monica is different than New York. We're going to meet lots of new people. We're going to make lots of new friends. You'll see. Oh, Amy. Hey, where'd you come from? You know, you are in the wrong apartment. Well, she is and she isn't. I'm Michelle Mudd. Two Ds and no jokes, please. I hope you don't mind. I mean, the door was open and Sugar Shell just ran in. Sugar Shell? Don't play me. I didn't name her. She used to live in when the Delaney's lived in this apartment. Sometimes she forgets and comes back. I suppose I had to take her to the elevator. It's the only way she can get up and down. Well, I'm Amy. I know. You're Amy Warner. Your mother's an advertising copywriter. And you moved here from New York. You still play with dolls, huh? Well, I collect antique dolls and toys. Maybe when I get them all unpacked, you'd like to see them sometime. Sure. Want to ride down the elevator with us? OK. Do you want to see Your father didn't come with you, did he? You're divorced, aren't you? Oh, I can always tell. It's because I'm divorced, too. I never really thought about it that way. I mean, me divorced? Look it up in the dictionary. It means to separate. That's what happened to us, didn't it? You give me back my dog, Michelle Mudd. I can't help it if she comes back by herself, Barbara Delaney. Oh, yeah? I'll bet. Hey, what's all this about? I came to get my dog. How'd she get upstairs then, Michelle? By herself? Your dog used to live in our apartment. Sometimes he gets mixed up and comes back. She seems awfully angry about it. Oh, that's because she's prejudiced. Against divorced people. Oh, Mom, this is Michelle. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Warner. It's nice to meet you, too, Michelle. You coming? No, I gotta run. Bye. Bye, Michelle. You found a new friend already, huh? You don't like her? I guess so. She's... she's divorced, same as we are. No, Amy. Like I am. Your father divorced me, not you. He left me, too. Same as he left you. Married a woman with three kids. I never wanted to see him again. the wrong number. Amy. Hi, Frank. Yeah, I, I thought it might be you. Yeah, I did leave a message at your office. Uh, I forgot about the three-hour time difference. Frank, the child support check is late again. Yes. Yes, I can understand that it's difficult with four children, but you might have thought about that before. I'm, I'm sorry, Frank. I... Yeah, just a minute. You're going to have to talk to him sometime. No! Amy, he's still your father. No, he isn't. He's their father now. I don't think so, Frank. Yeah, maybe when things settle down. Okay, okay. bye bye.
okay for any cat, but I'm going in. Sugar Shell. They don't allow dogs on the beach. But you can come over this afternoon and see her if you like. It's okay now that my dad's gone. You're divorced? <sighs> no. Well, my dad doesn't like me to invite more than one kid over when he's working at home. He's away on a business trip now. I don't know anyone whose parents are divorced except Michelle Mudd. She can come over around three. Maybe some other time. Sure. It's fabulous. Not a jellyfish in sight. Is that the girl with the dog? Yeah. She asked me to come over to her house sometime. You going? I don't know. Oh, you must be the new girl from the Delaney's old apartment. Come, come in. I'm dreadfully late getting back to the shop. You must come by sometime. This is uh, Maud Muds, the boutique in the shopping center. Oh, Michelle's cleaning out her room. She's been forbidden to step one foot outside until it's done. Oh, go and say hello. If you can get in, pass the mess. Oh, it's you. Hi. You've got everything. Almost. My dad's a psychiatrist. Makes tons of money. I even asked him for a new stereo for my birthday. Mostly so he won't have money enough to buy anything for his new girlfriend, Call Me Diane. That's her name, Call Me Diane? Not really. But if you ever meet her, you'll know why I call her that. She's an actress. Really tacky, too. I want that room picked up, Michelle. Let's go shopping. I know some really outrageous places. But aren't you supposed to clean up your room? Oh, come on. She never really makes me do anything. Your mom got a boyfriend? No. Some guy took her out a couple times in New York, but I didn't like it much. Hmm. Mine's had seven. All zeros. But then my mom wasn't very loyal. That's probably why they got the divorce. You miss your dad? No. I don't want to ever see him again. Even if there was some way to get the woman and three kids to disappear? I don't really think that my mom and dad would get back together if he knew his wife and kids were gone, do you? Sure. That's why I plan to make Call Me Diane disappear. But how? There are a number of variations. But I can't tell you unless you swear first. I need to know that you'll be my friend. Always. Okay. You give me your hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear to always be friends and always be loyal forever. I do solemnly swear to be friends to always be friends. To always be friends and always be loyal forever and ever. Nami orange kyo. Repeat it. Nami what am I saying? A Tibetan mantra. Very old and very sacred. Nami o renj kyo. Namo yo ho renj kyo. Give me something too. I should. How about that? But it's my favorite one. Good. It should be something important. That's part of the ceremony too. You realize that if you 
break our bond of friendship, you'll probably die. Don't worry, Michelle. I'll always be your friend. Oh, it's you, dear. Michelle's sick, or so she says. Come in, I'm late. What has she got? A cold. Well, she gets something every time she goes out for dinner with her father and that. <laughs> well, anyway, I told her she's to spend the entire day in bed. Don't get too close, just in case. Sorry, you're sick. I... I wasn't gonna tell you, because I didn't want to worry you. But I'm sure I've got sleeping sickness. <gasps> it's not funny. People always die with sleeping sickness. Well, um, I've never heard of anybody having sleeping sickness. <sighs> What are you gonna do today? In case someone has to find you and tell you I've died. Oh, I don't know. I'll probably go see Sugar Shell or something. You'll be sorry, you know. Barbara Delaney's loyal, and she tells lies behind people's backs, too. She probably doesn't have sleeping sickness, either. Wait a minute. You promised to be friends. Nora's coming over later. Would you like to stay and do something together? Okay. Um, maybe you'd both like to come over to see my collection. I've got some really neat antique dolls and toys. Nora loves stuff like that. We were kind of afraid you were going to end up being friends with Michelle Mudd. Why were we afraid of that? Well, none of the kids like her. Um, she's strange, kind of. Why? Well, I don't know. Mostly it's my mother. She doesn't think Michelle's a proper playmate. You know, mothers aren't always right about everything. All right. Well, I'm not supposed to say anything, but something did happen. I mean, what happened? Why do we have to spend this whole time talking about Michelle Mudd anyway? Because I don't think it's fair to spread rumors behind people's backs when you don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't know you were that good of friends. Well, we are. You just think she's strange because she's divorced. Well, I'm divorced, too. She can add me to your list of strange people. Thought you had sleeping sickness. I did. Sort of. You're really impossible. But you were right about Barbara Delaney. She talks behind people's backs. And she's really prejudiced against divorced people. You know, there's this really old doll in a shop near my mom's boutique. You want to see it? OK. Well, oh, I'd give anything to have her in my collection. Well, that one's not for sale, not at any price. She's a Steiner doll, isn't she? Well, yes, Julia Steiner's. I didn't think so at first, only because of the teeth. Steiner dolls don't usually have teeth. You know a lot about dolls, don't you? Well, actually, that one won a gold medal at the World's Fair in 1892. Yeah, she must be worth thousands of dollars. Five thousand at least. She's really beautiful. She's still got the original goatskin hair. Come on, let's go. We wait a minute, Michelle? You're showing your case of arrested infancy again. Maybe I'll come back some other time. Well, of course. Anytime. Now we'll go see something really neat. What? You'll see. Disappear, call me, Diane. 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 Michelle? Don't 
don't sneak up on me. What'd you do that for? Can I help you girls with something? Oh, uh, yeah. We'd like to put a whammy on somebody. I've got books on all kinds of magic. There's somebody. You want them to get sick or just disappear? Ew. Disappear would be all right. It says here that all you need is something from the person. Like a fingernail clipping or just a hair. Ew! Michelle, no one believes in witchcraft anymore. That's all you know. If you ever talk to my father, you'd find out just how powerful the mind really is. It can even make you sick. All witchcraft is, is learning to focus your mind. Well, I still think it's creepy. Besides, there's no way I could get a hair or anything from a woman and three kids. You can do anything if you want to! <laughs> Did I tell you my dad's taking me to the ice cream palace for my birthday? I'll ask him if you can come. Hi. You have a nice day? Something came for you in the mail today. Uh. Well, go on, open it. Okay. I'm gonna send it back. Back? Back where? Back to my father. I don't want it. Well, if you don't want it, I might like to have it. Oh, no, you don't, Amy Warner. Maybe I better go. Goodbye, Mrs. Warner. Bye, Michelle. Amy, he's your father, and he loves you. You'd hurt him if you sent it back. It doesn't matter anyway. He wasn't loyal. Amy, we need to talk about this. Can I have my allowance? I need to buy Michelle a birthday present. Or maybe some earrings she liked. OK. But I want you to write your father and thank him for the doll. And just sometimes, I wish you'd try a little harder to make some friends beside Michelle. Someone else must have bought them. Maybe you'd like to pick out another pair. Uh, no, thanks. Those are the ones I wanted. The part-time girl must have sold those earrings. Sorry. <sighs> I'll never find anything for Michelle now. Maybe. Did you write to your father yet? I never asked for you, you know. Dear Mr. Warner, thank you for the package. You're gonna like this. But as it is nothing that I want, I will sell it and give the money to the poor. You hear that? Or I'll give you to someone who likes you so they can start their own collection. Hi. Oh! I thought Michelle was over at your place. Well, I guess she's gone down to see if her father's here yet. So long as you're here, dear, would you run in her room and get her a blue sweater in case it gets chilly? Sure.
I wanted. I didn't know you liked dolls. More than anything in the world. It's beautiful. Well, if that isn't something. It looks just like you, Diane. It's for the hair. Hold still. You have loose hair on your shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. I really thought it was loose, Dad. All right, Michelle, okay. You okay? Fine. Okay, here goes. We've got another surprise for you, Michelle. We wanted to tell you about our surprise during a happy moment. That's why we picked here on your birthday. Because well, this is a celebration, and we wanted you to think of our surprise as a celebration, too. Well, what your father's trying to say, Michelle, is we've decided to get married. Now, I, I know it's going to be a little difficult to accept at first, but we're hoping that soon our happiness will be your happiness. I can't come out. Maybe not for days. It's probably the mumps. Are you sure? She don't look sick to me. Oh, I, you know Amy Warner. Something the matter? Michelle says she's sick again. Mm. Amy, your father called. He got your letter. You were the one who made me write it. Not what you wrote. Did you want to hurt him? Because that's what you did. Amy, can you just try to understand that it is just a marriage that's over between your father and me, not between you and your father? He has a wife now and her kids. He does not need me. But he wants you. He's asked you to come and visit him. And... and the woman and three kids, not in a million years. I think I'm just going to go to the library. I think you're just going to stay here and talk to me about this. Mom, there is nothing to talk about. Why can't people just be loyal? Michelle, I'm going to the library. You want any books or anything? Go away. I'm sick. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. Um, how's Sugar Shell and Marva? <laughs> Sugar Shell's fine. Marva's checking out a book. Hey, I've got a really neat antique toy collection. If you'd like to see it. Maybe, if Barbara wants to. Okay. Amy invited us to go see her toy collection. I suppose she still thinks I'm prejudiced or something. Uh-uh. No, I don't. I asked you first. I want to if you do. Yeah. Now this is Sleepy Trudy, Smiley Trudy, and Weepy Trudy. She was made in 1946. That's great. I just love your whole collection. Especially Mimi. She's so beautiful. I wish I had more time. I'd love to see the fortune teller doll work again. Guess I better get home, though. Well, could you come back tomorrow? Can't. I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow. But you could both come to my place on Saturday. Okay. Are you still friends with Michelle? Well, she's sick right now. What's she got? She says the mumps. She's always sick with something. You're not very loyal. That's not true, Michelle. You don't even care that I'm sick. Michelle, I would care if I thought you were really sick. Well, I am really sick. With the mumps. Maybe it's not mumps, but it's something just as bad. What? I don't know, but it's still contagious. And the only reason I haven't seen you is because you're my best friend. 
I'm more loyal than you are. I probably won't be contagious tomorrow. Not after lunch, anyway. You could come over then. Okay. Tomorrow. You had a good time today with Barbara and Nora, didn't you? It's nice to hear you laugh again. You always seem so serious with Michelle. Mmm, you smell good. Baby! Oh, it's good to see you again. Michelle's just been moping in her room for days, waiting for you to get better. Me better? You're not contagious, are you, dear? I I'm not even no, sick. No, fever. Uh, I've got Uncle Lake getting back to the boutique. She'll be tickle pink to see you. Oh, for heaven's sake, tell her to turn down that stereo. Her father would give her something to blast my eardrums. sick. I don't want her to get sick. I just want her to disappear out of my father's life, that's all. I can't marry her. She's awful and I hate her. You said you liked a doll. I thought you wanted to start a collection. The way you collect earrings. What earrings? But they were here. Dozens of them. The ones from the drugstore and the occult shop, too. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Sometimes I wonder just what kind of a friend you really are. What kind of a friend do you think you are? I feel sorry for you, Michelle. Because you don't even know what's important. Just look at the doll. You didn't give me that dumb doll because you wanted me to have it. You gave it to me so you could get back to your father. I'll never forgive you for this, Michelle. I never want to talk to you again. That's the trouble with you, Amy Warner. You don't know how to be loyal at all. Settles it. I'm going in. Me too. Coming? In a minute. I'm sorry, Amy. I didn't really mean to hurt your doll. Or hurt your feelings. I just wanted to get rid of Call Me Diane. I wanted to make her disappear so she couldn't marry my father. I thought you'd understand. You're the only other person in the whole wide world who knows what it feels like to be divorced. Besides, you promised to be my friend. So now you're their friend, aren't you? Michelle, why does it always have to be you or them? Concerned, that's all. 
I don't know, she's met some nice girls, and she has a terrific time with them. She just seems most attached to this one little girl who's... Hold on. Amy, it's your father. He called especially to talk to you. I've got nothing to say. Not yet, Frank. Don't give up. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I'm sure glad she's not for sale. Cause I'd never be able to afford her. She sure would look nice in my collection, though. Let's go. I want to go by the drugstore and get some lip gloss. All right. How would these look at the wedding? Michelle, your ears aren't even pierced. Drew? Yes. Those are the girls. Are you really going to the wedding? Sure. Guess what? I found out what Call Me Diane's wearing, too. <laughs> I got a dress just like it. She'll be furious. Help you go? Oh, yeah. I like some lip gloss. Red, red. You know, the kind that comes with a little brush. I'm gonna get some gum. Thank you. Come on. Wait, what's the rush? Will you come on? Okay, I'm coming. Just a minute, you two. All right. Where are they? Hmm? Which one of you has them? I uh, bet they're right in here. I was, uh, I was sure I... I bet you hid them someplace in the store when you saw me coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, young lady. This isn't the first time I've missed something when the two of you were in here. One of these days, I'm going to catch you at it, too. Now, go on. Get out of here. Both of you. gone to jail for what you did. But what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, Michelle. These? I'll put them back so they don't notice, but I've got to take them back, Michelle. How could you? I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You stole them, and then you put them in my pocket so I'd have to take the blame. I did not. I just forgot they were in my hand, that's all. Then when he yelled at us, I must have dropped in my pocket. I don't believe you, Michelle. You stole these earrings, just like all the other earrings I found in your closet. I bought all those earrings. My dad has tons of money, and I can buy all the earrings I want. You can't prove I didn't. And if you were a real friend, will you just stop it, Michelle? I can't be your friend anymore. But you swore. I know. But I just can't be your friend. You're just like everybody else. You're not loyal. You don't have the first idea what friends are for. No. No, Michelle. It's you. You're the one who doesn't know how to be friends. You don't even know what loyal means. You better change your mind, Amy Warner. You made a promise. da -da. I finished. I'll take it into the agency now. And then you and I can go out for dinner tonight, OK? Mm. You know this is the second day you haven't been out? You sure there's nothing in? No. Come on, then. Walk me to the car, OK? Come on.
You sure you don't want to come with me? Mm, I don't feel good. Well, come on downstairs with me. The air will be good for you. Is anybody in here? I forgot my purse. Mom. I have to talk to you about Michelle. Well, it's really important. Okay. I'll go up for the television. Hi. I'm sorry you're leaving. It's not so bad. I'm going to live with my dad. Call me Diane, too? Sure. Actually, she knows tons of show business people. She's an actress, and... I don't really like her that much. I'll be with my dad, so maybe it'll work out. Yeah. Hey, I've got my own shrink now because of my problem. I might not see you for a long time, especially if I go away to school in Europe. Actually, I'll be going to school in Encino, where my dad lives. I 
guess you could say we're getting a divorce, huh? I guess sometimes it's best. Well, goodbye. Bye, Michelle. Michelle just left with her dad. I guess it's best this way. For me, anyway. Probably for Michelle, too. I guess some people just can't work it out. Then I guess it is best to get a divorce. I wish it didn't hurt so much. Amy. Mr. Warner, please. Daddy? It's Amy. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm, no special reason. I miss you. I miss you so much. 